Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on August the 22nd. There's a lot of clarity in this one, and I see a lot of kingdom culture, a lot of that I say we, we have to just be thankful sometimes for the contrast. This one is really showing me a lot of contrast. In the very first sentence, I get kingdom and I get culture. It says, trust me, that is a kingdom rule. Don't be afraid, that is a culture rule. The culture seems to really, the ego brain train leads us toward fear and doubt. And when you begin to feel afraid, call on me, whisper my name when you can, say it out loud. Bring that kingdom spirit into the present moment by calling his name. And then I wanted to speak just a moment about the trust muscle. And I have mentioned before about meditation and that that is a time for me to empty me of me so I can be fully filled by his powerful presence. And prayer is when I take my petitions, but meditation is really about me trying to empty me, to still my mind, to really get my cells to begin to crave that presence of peace, that calmness, that stillness in my mind. But this trust muscle, oh, in meditation, a lot of times we drift away. We start thinking about things that we have to do or have done or what. And it is this return to muscle that meditation to me is really about. It's not about how long we can stay um, without drifting. It's about this muscle that brings us back. And that is a trust muscle as well. A time that I know that God was really working on me and building my trust muscle in him was in this journey of my brain injury, and then I was preparing for brain surgery. And in uh, July of one year, we found out that I had hydrocephalus, the fluid on the brain, and then we had to do a little bit more testing, balance work, and it was probably around October that I met with a neurosurgeon. We began to discuss the journey of brain surgery. They say before they do that, they do the spinal tap, drain a certain amount of fluid. Uh, they got the maximum amount of fluid in, it was like 20 or 30 minutes. So that really indicated to them it was high pressure. And then it was a lot of prayer in determining where God wanted me. And when I say what platform did he want me where I was after surgery? Was I being greedy and wanting too much in my recovery? Anyway, it was a journey. We made the decision to go forward with surgery in January, and my surgery was not until March. And any time I began to think, worry, wonder about brain surgery, what if all of that brain train that can get started, and that takes you to the pit of self-pity and muck and mire, as soon as it started, I had to stop. I had to catch myself, listen to my body, the heart palpitations, the tape that was playing, the fear that was going catch myself and build that trust muscle. My heavenly father gave me a medical team. He prepared that team for me. Even the head surgeon was said, I'm praying for you, Michelle, because I was had a difficult time making this decision. But that was a season to really build my trust muscle. So when we learn to catch ourselves, when we're drifting toward that pit of worry and doubt and culture and fear, that is the time to just say, nope, I trust in God. I trust in him and not just in word. And sometimes we have to say it, say it, say it until we begin to actually like resonate in our feelings of trusting and walking it out. But that is my season of building a trust muscle. And today it's more about, for me, I say it's the return to muscle. As my brain begins to drift, just like that anchor bringing that boat right back, this is the return to trust muscle. And how do we do it? trust gratitude, call his name, catch ourselves when we're drifting toward fear. Um, and then again, it says you have been judged, not guilty for all eternity. Again, the contrast of kingdom and culture, this culture loves to judge us and compare and the contrast. And he says, you have been found not guilty. You are a follower, no condemnation for those who belong in me. So again, wrapped in that custom-made robe of righteousness. So on to the readings for today. The first one is James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. This is the journey of self-awareness, acknowledging when we're drifting toward the culture, we're drifting toward the devil, we're drifting toward the pit. 
Call on him and then submit. The next one is Romans chapter 8, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Jesus, through Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. And to me, the law of the spirit, that is the laws of the kingdom. It is in verse living so much contrast in the culture and the kingdom. So the kingdom, the kingdom is going to be the law of the spirit, the spirit of life that sets me free. The culture is going to be the law of sin and death, the pit. So we acknowledging that contrast and knowing there is no condemnation for us. This is a journey of grace and mercy. The final reading for today is Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. So acknowledging when we are drifting toward fear, call on him. Trust and gratitude are going to prime that pump and pull him into our presence, creating that stillness within. Y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine and I will talk to you soon.